thought that was a nice uh, set for my spike that's to come. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Richard Moss, by the way, is down in Ojai, California, and has several wonderful books, and he, enlightenment is the common, common theme of them, and I highly recommend them. A little intellectual, if you like that kind of thing. Good stuff, especially this book right here. So, we're talking about enlightenment today. Uh, on one level, something that words cannot express. So what am I going to do? Sing. <laughs> I'll sing. I'm going to sing. <laughs> uh, but the core mission statement. I'm sure all of you have this memorized. For, for uplift. Is that uplift serves as a catalyst for positive consciousness transformation. Another way of saying that would be enlightenment. So I wanted to start by bringing to mind for all of you, I think, a very well-known enlightenment figure that um, I believe everybody here would be familiar with, and that it would be the Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch who stole Christmas, right? Is everybody familiar with the Green Grinch? Okay. So what happened to the Grinch, and why is it that the Grinch's story has such power, right? Or does it, am I the only one that kind of, you know, gets a little tear when he has his conversion experience? Right, the Grinch was, he had a problem with the little, is it Who's and Whoville? Uh -huh. Right, because they were too darn happy, those Who's. And he thought, I'm going to fix them. I'm going to do the worst thing possible to imagine, like to think of, and that is to ruin their Christmas. Ruin their time of good cheer and all the presents that they share and all the songs that they have they sing. And, look. and what happens at the end? You find that he, you know, because his heart was three sizes too small. Too small. <laughs> right? He had that little teeny, teeny heart, mm -hmm. like a walnut. And, um, at the end, he has this conversion experience where he realizes that he stole their Christmas, all the trappings of Christmas. So he thought. And they all get together like nothing happened. And they're singing and they're happy and everything is fine. And something, it, he has an aha enlightenment experience. And what happened to his heart? Yeah. They say it grew three sizes that day, right? At least three. Boom, boom, boom. Big old heart, and he's a new Grinch. <laughs> Sleds down into the village, gives all the presents back, and he even at the end helps carve the roast beast. We can relate to that story, I believe, as human beings, because we all know you know, we all know there's more for us, right? We all have that stirring in our souls that says, there's more for me. And at various times in our life, we've reached for more. And when I say more, of course, I'm talking about the spiritual qualities. Of, there's more peace. There's more love. There's more joy for me. And then, you know, we have experiences of self-sabotage, not getting it, which it's, it all belongs, it all belongs. It's part of our journey towards getting it, right? Enlightenment is something, is a, you know, we always have trouble with words here at Uplift, right? Because words mean different things to different people. So I'm going to make a distinction between spiritual enlightenment and psychological enlightenment. There's also enlightenment on an interpersonal level, which has a whole other topic, and we'll do that another day. But spiritual enlightenment is what we classically think of as the Eastern teachers of uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, 
these people really mastered this you know, meditation and getting into the ground of being and realizing that there is no I in the sense of we usually think of an I, that there, my I is part of a, something much larger that I merge with. And when I have that realization, I'm free. I'm free. Coinciding with that, hopefully, is a psychological enlightenment. I like to say enlightenment with a big E, the spiritual enlightenment, and enlightenment with a little E. <clears throat> but very important, they kind of overlap. Spirituality and psychology kind of overlap. But enlightenment with a little E is psychological in nature. And that means becoming a whole, mature, authentic person. And those two things, spiritual and psychological enlightenment, don't necessarily come together. And one of the revolutionary things, really, that we're doing here at Uplift in a few places around the country and around the world, is trying to bring those two worlds together, because they need each other. We have stories of enlightened spiritual teachers and everybody recognizes as whoa I mean they are really free I mean I, I, the light that comes from just sitting in their presence I'm, I'm free right but they may not have it together in the psychological realm I think of a story of a well-known spiritual teacher who in his younger days had a girlfriend and I read the autobiography of the girlfriend who talks about this. And uh, he basically just dropped her. And there was no communication around it. And it took her years to kind of process it. And what she came to is she realized he did not have the psychological skills you know, to process interpersonal communication on that level. He didn't know what to do with it, so he just didn't do anything. That's one example. You know, you hear examples of famous spiritual teachers having uh, dalliance with one of the uh, students. You know? You can have it. You can have it all in a way, but not <laughs> get it on the concrete level of interpersonal relationships. Um, on the other hand, you could have a psychological level of enlightenment, right? How many people do you know who go for years to their therapist, which, nothing wrong with that. However, it can be like a hamster on a wheel. More understanding, more understanding, more understanding, but no enlightenment, ultimately, right? They're missing the ultimate question of who am I as I rest in the ground of all being? You know what I'm saying? So all these psychological concerns are of a relative importance. I've got to know what's of ultimate importance. So if we don't have those two things working together, it's not going to happen for us. 